Dr. King, in response to the Trayvon Martin case, would have said virtually identically the same thing that President Obama said. He would have said that the case reflected a disparity and difference in the application of law to African-American young men and those who are not African-American young men. Trayvon Martin could have been me uh, 35 years ago. And when you think about why, in the African-American com community at least, um, there's a lot of pain around what happened here. Uh, I think it's important to recognize that um, the African-American community is looking at this issue through uh, a set of experiences and a, and a history. Dr. King would be disappointed in the results of the Trayvon Martin case, fearful that this may be replicated in other communities, and he would um, articulate his disappointment, but he wouldn't just preach or speak about it. He would remember that at the end of the day, change came about for African Americans through the exercise of the vote. Probably the most important piece of legislation, the Voting Rights Act of 1965. So Dr. King would say what I say, and that is, it's one thing to complain about the Trayvon Martin case, but to complain about the Trayvon Martin case and to be unregistered, not registered to vote, means that you're not serious. You're not serious. Because nothing fundamentally happens in America without the exercise of political power and change. It never has and it never will.